Yo, what's up guys? My name is Echerno. Welcome to episode 44 of Game Programming. So yesterday we took a look at um, all these different input methods and basically how our X and Y variables, how our location of the player is going to change based on, um, you know, our keyboard inputs. So if we, if we run this, you'll see that we actually drew some text on the screen and that we're able to actually adjust the location of our player and everything works correctly. Now that's brilliant, but let's go back to mob. That is one way to do it, right? But if we go back to mob, we've already got a way to do it, right? We've got this move method. So why don't we actually use that move method? And what I'm gonna do today is it's gonna be quite a short episode, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look in depth at how this move method actually works and how we actually use it in our update method. So let's just scrap all this code. All right, all I was doing yesterday was showing you guys how to transfer it to the player. Um, today, we're gonna simply do move friggin' player update, yeah? We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna make two variables called X and Y. They're both going to equal zero. And then all I'm gonna do, actually, this is gonna be X, A, and Y, A. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna say that, you know, if, um, I don't know, if, if we, if um, input dot up, Right, we'll just add one to X. Oh, sorry, Y. We'll subtract one from Y, actually. This is a complete opposite of what I was supposed to do there. Um, let's just copy this a few times. Um, if we, and not to Y, sorry, to Y, A. So there's our X and right, left. So all I'm doing here is I'm setting the correct sort of bounce, I guess. Um, and remember, every time it's gonna come through here, it's actually going to set them back to zero. It's gonna reset them back to zero. So, doing it that way, I need to order a new microphone stand. I said that last episode. But hey, just tightening it again. That should be better, maybe. Um, <clears throat> all right, so, uh, we're doing this, and again, it's gonna reset it. But at the end of this, we're gonna say that if x a is not equal to zero, so in other words, if it's, it's not equal to zero, um, or if y a, is not equal to zero, then we're going to actually move with X, A, and Y, A. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, so, right, what's gonna happen is if X, A isn't equal to zero, right, the only thing it can equal, and let me just fix this up before I <laughs> screw everything up. The only thing that X, A can equal if it's not zero is negative one or one. All right, and we're gonna feed that into the move method. Now, we'll take a look at this in depth, but first of all, let's take a look at if it works. And as you can see, it works exactly like it did before, but we're actually using the correct method for moving our player now. So let's dive into this and take, take a look at it code uh, line by line. So first things first, right, these variables. So basically I've created these two variables, right? And they're, they're on, they only exist for one purpose. They just note down the direction of which, which way the player is supposed to move, right? So in other words, what's gonna happen here is if, if, if we actually, if, if the game detects that our up button and now remember, we actually have two up buttons assigned. We've got W and the up arrow key. If any of them are actually detected as being pressed, it's going to um, decrement from YA. So basically it's going to, minus minus just means that it's going to take it down a notch, I guess. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna actually subtract one unit from that variable. So in other words, YA is currently equal to zero. It will become negative one, okay? Um, if input up is detected. And let's just say that the up arrow is the only thing the player happens to be holding when we actually in this cycle, right? So first thing it does defines the two variables, sets them both equal to zero. Then it subtracts one from YA. So now XA is equal to zero and YA is equal to negative one. And since none of these are true, it keeps going. And over here it says that if XA doesn't equal to zero, it does equal zero, but or if YA doesn't equal zero and it equals negative one, which is not zero. So this condition is true. It's going to move with the parameters of, of zero and negative one because YA equals negative one. And in the move method, it's going to come over here. It's going to take down the direction because y is less than zero. It knows that, it knows that the direction is zero. So it's taking down the direction and also it's going to um, add negative one to y because y, y a is equal to negative one. So it's going to add negative one to y, to y, which means that it will actually go down one. So if y happens to be zero here, well, let's, let's say y happens to be 300, um, y will become 299. Thus, it's actually translating the player. 
So that's how it works line by line. Um, and it obviously does the same thing for X and Y. If they're both, for example, if we're holding the A button and the W button at the same time, we will go diagonally, right? Because they'll be both negative one. And if we plug in, plug in here, move, we'll, we'll have the parameters negative one and negative one. And it will actually be subtracting one from X as well as subtracting one from Y at the same time, which of course is completely, completely fine. It will just do it at the same time. And that's it, guys. That is really how it works. I don't think further explanation is necessary. If you guys have any questions, though, drop a comment. Um, remember, I do have a subreddit. Uh, it's reddit, it's r slash the churno. So I, I really made that so that you guys could sort of discuss that thing and sort of have like a forum up there. Um, the link to the subreddit will be in the description. If you guys have any like problems, if you guys want to ask a question, best place to do it if you actually want to get answered is there. Um, because people will actually help you out as well. Cause I don't have enough time to help all of you guys out, but if you start a thread there, I'm sure you'll get help like within a few hours. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of game programming. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later guys.